Thanks. The first Omen is new in theaters. It's a prequel to the 70s horror classic The Omen. There was an Omen before The Omen. Bad things will start to happen around her. Evil things. It's about a young nun who stumbles upon the conspiracy to bring about the birth of the Antichrist. And I thought it was surprisingly decent and well made. A little slow, and I'm not crazy about the way it wraps up, but until then, I thought it was pretty provocative and unsettling and kind of gnarly. Do you remember me? Do you even know my mother's name? Now, also new in theaters, you got Monkey Man, an action movie starring Dev Patel, who also makes his directorial debut, about a boxer in India out for bloody revenge. The reviews are really good. While to very select theaters comes the animated import Epic Tales about animal pals in ancient Greece. From India, a rom-com called The Family Star. And Wicked Little Letters, a British comedy about a tiny community in the 20s who are rocked by a series of vulgar anonymous letters with Olivia Coleman and Jesse Buckley. And special events in theaters this week, Gone with the Wind on the big screen, a Suga concert, and Colleen the Dark Knight. Check listings for those wheres and whens. Maybe like magical black people, or I guess that doesn't have the same ring. Then now at home on VOD is the American Society of Magical title I'm uncomfortable with, straight from theaters. Also Knox goes away with Michael Keaton as a hitman with dementia. Then there's Snack Shack, a comedy about two 90s teens who open a snack bar at their local pool. A Bit of Light with Anna Paquin as a recovering alcoholic. The horror flick Model House about some fashion models terrorized by home invaders. It's Strictly Confidential, a sexy new murder mystery with Elizabeth Hurley directed by her son. Did you have any thoughts on the PDF I sent you? I refuse to learn what that is. On a streaming now, Apple bringing back Loot, the Maya Rudolph show for another season. Also have the documentary Girls State about teenage girls building a mock government and have a new series Sugar with Colin Farrell as an LA gumshoe. Then Star Trek Discovery begins a final season on Paramount Plus. Are you eating a bone? Hulu has new American Horror Story, the new reality spinoff Vanderpump Villa, and the British comedy Dinosaur, about an engagement that comes between two sisters. Change does not come unless you grab it by the hand. Then there's a new Stars series, Mary and George, with Julianne Moore, about a scheming countess and her son. Peacock adds Night Swim, the haunted swimming pool movie from theaters. Disney Plus finally adds the animated Wish, and Max, the Oscar-winning Holocaust movie, The Zone of Interest. Every day, regular sounds, I turn into rhythm. Then on to Amazon, who debut the movie Musica about a man with a musical mind with Camilla Mendez and Rudy Mancuso. And finally, Netflix has Scoop with Gillian Anderson.